What we're going to be discussing is one of the most famous equations in the whole of physics. Delta E is equal to delta m c squared. First developed by Albert Einstein in 1905, this equation is pivotal to nuclear physics. Let's understand why. Now, let's imagine a little alpha particle. An alpha particle consists of two protons, as you can see, they're positive, and two neutrons, as you can see, they're quite neutral. They're bound together by the strong nuclear force. Now, if I wanted to separate them, I'm actually going to need to apply a very large amount of force. So if I say I want to take this proton out, I don't want to take it away, all I would need to do is overcome that strong nuclear force. So in fact, I would need to input energy into the system. That energy is known as the binding energy. And that will be our first definition of the day Binding energy is the energy required to separate the nucleons away from the nucleus. Okay, the second thing that we're going to be discussing today is the mass defect delta M. And what I'm about to say might shock you, but the de there's a difference in mass between the nucleus as a whole, for example, an alpha particle, compared to the, in the individual masses of its constituents added up. What I mean by this is that the mass of an alpha particle is different compared to the mass of two protons plus two neutrons. Let me give you an example. So over here we've got the mass of an alpha particle 6.64466 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kg got the mass of a proton 1.67262 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kg and the mass of a neutron 1.67493 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kg now shall we just add those two numbers or twice the mass of a proton plus twice the mass of a neutron well, if you input this into a calculator, so twice that plus twice that, what we're going to get is 6.69455 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms. We can see already that the mass of the individual nucleons added together is higher compared to the mass of the alpha particle. And this is because some of that mass has gone in to be binding energy. And this is really, really crucial. Well, let's calculate the exact difference in mass. So delta M is the mass defect. It's gonna be just this mass, 6.6945, Five times 10 to the power of minus 27 minus the mass of the alpha particle which is 6.64466 times 10 to the power of minus 27 and if we put that into a calculator we're going to get 5.044 times 10 to the power of minus 29 kilograms and this over here is our mass defect is by how much the two masses differ. Now that we've got the mass defect, because we know what the speed of light is, we can calculate our binding energy. So let's do that. Delta E is equal to delta M C squared, most famous equation in physics. So that's going to be 5.044 times 10 to the power of minus 29. Multiply by the speed of light squared, so that's 3.0 times 10 to the 8. All of that is squared. If we put that into a calculator, we're going to get 45396 times 10 to the power of minus 12 joules. So this over here, 4.5396 times 10 to the power of minus 12 joules, is the energy that we have to input in to separate an alpha particle into its individual 
nucleons. Well, if only there was a process in which the opposite was true. Now, let's just go back in time, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. No, actually, wait, it was this galaxy. But a long time ago, we studied about star formation. And we study that once a star reaches a temperature of about 10 to the power of 7 Kelvin, thermonuclear reactions can occur. And those thermonuclear reactions sustain nuclear fusion. Well, the opposite of fusion is what gives us the energy from the sun on a beautiful day like this. The opposite happens in the core of a sun. You have hydrogen nuclei or, or protons which fuse together to form helium and once that happens some of their in some of their mass is lost into into energy and delta E is equal to delta MC squared is also the reason why the uh, the, the, the stars shine it's absolutely fascinating Okay guys, so let's just recap. What we looked at is the most famous equation, so equivalence between um, energy and mass. Delta E is equal to delta mc squared. We uh, define the binding energy, so as the energy required to separate the nucleons away from the, uh, from the nucleus. We define the mass effect as the difference in mass between the mass of the individual nucleons added together minus the um, mass of the, the whole nucleus. And then we gave an example. We looked at the mass of helium. And from that, we took away the mass of two protons, two neutrons. We found the mass defect and used delta E is equal to delta M C squared. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and remember to subscribe. See you for the next one.